Hey guys, thought I'd just show you guys pretty quick here what I'm playing around with at the moment. Um, so right now, um, I am basically playing around with my iPhone 4S and I saw a cool program that is out but uh, it's kind of hard to install right now because it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a complicated install process uh, and it's basically a program called Siri Proxy uh, that you can go ahead and get running on your iPhone 4S device and play around with Siri uh, but uh, I gotta tell you it's it's kind of hard to install uh, you need to create your own kind of certificates and stuff like that um, and I'm playing around with it right now and it seems like I finally have been successful to be able to make my own kind of certificate uh, that I'm gonna go ahead and install right now on my iPhone 4S and I'm just gonna show you that pretty quick um, so basically I made some terminal stuff here um, and you know it's servers and passless and it's open SSL it's keys and it's hacks uh, me, me, yeah it's, it's not that hard uh, when you you know know how to do it uh, but you can go ahead and research more uh, if you want to know how to do it, this yourself. I'm just going to show you uh, this pretty quick here uh, when I go ahead and install this certificate, this certificate uh, in my iPhone 4S. And I'm just going to you know tell you here pretty quick that I'm not even sure if I'm going to get Siri Proxy up and running. But what I do know is that it's fun to play around. And uh, basically now when I created my own certificate, I need to get it uh, up and running on my iPhone 4S. So how do I do that? Well, it's kind of simple. You just email this this certificate to your phone, um, so you can open it up. And I'm gonna use Gmail, and the certificate is like 4 KB, so you know it's it's kind of like a small file. So I have it here on my computer, running in the background. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead here and quickly just uh, open or make a new kind of mail. Um, I'm gonna do it to myself, of course. And then I'm just gonna pick, you know, don't have to be anything special, Siri. Uh, and then I'm just gonna attach uh, this, uh, this, uh, this, 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 this tool. Uh, or yeah, this, um, this uh, certificate. Okay, so go ahead and open it up. Uh, and then I'm just gonna send it. Oh wait, of course. Okay, okay, so I've emailed it to myself right now. Um, so I'm on my phone here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, I've already done it before, but I haven't tried to install it yet. Uh, but let's see here. Okay, we get the new one there. Okay, open it up. You can see there uh, we have a new certificate, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to install it. Okay, uh, my fake CA, that's the name of it. Uh, it was basically a guy on YouTube that was made a video on how you can do this for yourself, and he put the name my fake CA, so I did put the same. But credit to that guy because he was kind of insane. He was good, he knew what he did, you know. I don't. Uh, just gonna go ahead and install this. Okay. There we go, we are finished. So basically that's just one of the process in trying to get Siri Proxy up and running. I know there is a lot more things that you need to do, uh, but at least I got you know the first thing um, up and running and uh, it's gonna be interesting to continue here to see if I can get you know it to fully work. But I'm not so sure about that. Uh, but uh, it's at least fun to play around, and at least you know you learn more stuff um, about these you know computers and stuff like that when you are playing around with them. And uh, yes, this is not an iMac. See you guys.